Hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Wednesday. Hope you are all having a great day. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the difference between Silhouette Studio updates and Silhouette Studio upgrades. These are often confused uh, and so we're going to try to get to the bottom of this um, today. All right, so what you have are two different things and I've actually linked to a blog post that I did a while back that has this all written out as well. And I also linked to where you can get the upgrade. So let's start first with updates, okay? Silhouette Studio updates are what Silhouette America releases every, I don't know, couple weeks, couple months or whatever, okay? They are what you would go to silhouetteamerica.com slash software. And then that is where you are gonna download the software. It's free to download the software, okay? If you get an update, you can go and download the current version. And what that's going to do is it is going to give you the newest features. It's gonna fix bugs from prior feature, or from prior versions. It's going to um, give you the latest version of the software. Now, it's free, it's always free. If you wanna go back because the version of the software that you are not using, the current update that you're using is not working, you can use a legacy version of the software, which is also free, also on the Silhouette America slash software website, and that will um, allow you to use an older version. If you have a Mac, you can use put as many versions of the software on your computer as you want. If you have a PC, you can only update by going up to a newer, higher level, but if you wanna use a legacy version, you need to remove the prior version first, okay? So let's say, for example, you wanted to go to V4.4.370 uh, and you currently have 4.4.375. I don't even know the actual numbers, but if you wanted to go back, you have to remove 375 and then go to 370. That's what, if you're on a PC. If you're on a Mac, you can, you can have as many as you want. You can just rename that. Now, that's updates, upgrades. Okay, everybody starts with the free version of Silhouette Studio, okay, basic version. You can then, you have the option then to purchase upgrades. They are one-time purchase and they open up new features and tools and abilities of the software. There are three different upgrades. They are all paid, they are all one-time paid. You can, the way that they are delivered is either by a physical card or a digital code. Okay, so regardless of how you get it delivered and upgrade, it will give you a 16 digit license key. That license key, which is split into four dash four dash four dash four, those li that license key is entered into the Silhouette America software, Silhouette Studio software through the help menu, and you put that code in and it's going to instantly upgrade your software, give, open up new features. So there's Designer Edition, Designer Edition Plus, or Business Edition you can go from the free version to any of them. So let's say you're going from the free basic version of Silhouette Studio and you purchase the business edition. You can go all the way to business edition and that will open up the features of business edition, designer edition, and designer edition plus, okay? There's nothing higher than business edition right now. Now, let's say for me, for example, when I when they first came out with the upgrades, all they had was designer edition. And so I went from the free version to designer edition. That was, I don't know how many, it was $27 or $30. Then about a year later, let's say, they came out with designer edition plus and business edition. Or let's just say you're upgrading in steps. You then have to purchase a bridge or a partial upgrade. So then what you would do is you would purchase the designer edition to business edition, all right? It's a prorated amount. But what this does is it gives you two license keys, not at the same time, but you would initially have the basic to designer, okay? You're already there, and now you wanna upgrade again. Now you're gonna end up with a second license key. You have to put both those license keys into Silhouette Studio in order, in order so first to designer, you're building onto it, okay? If you put from basic, if you have basic edition and you try to put the license key that is good for designer edition to business, it's not going to work, okay? Because that's only a partial. I know it's very confusing. All of this is written out in a blog post that I have linked up top, okay? Um, so 
Couple of questions that we get all the time about upgrades. Remember, upgrades are business, designer edition plus, and designer edition. Those are one-time paid upgrades. You can put them on up to three computers where you sign into Silhouette Studio with your account. So you can't give that to like your friend and she signs in on hers and it's gonna work, it's not. Um, if you have Business Edition, for example, like right now I'm using Business Edition, then let's say Silhouette America releases a new update. Remember, that's where it's the numbers, 370 to 375. And I update, my upgrade Business Edition will come with me, okay? If for whatever reason, I somehow lose my license key or um, I move to a new computer and I can't find my license key, don't worry, you don't need to repurchase. It's all stored in your Silhouette America account. So you just sign into Silhouette America, go to your account and under your account settings, all your license keys are listed there. Remember, if you need to re, um, reactivate them and you have more than one, you need to put them in in order, okay? Um, the other question that we get all the time is, and I see this in the groups too, is anybody else's Silhouette Studio like laggy or different things like that? It's a downloaded software that's on your computer. So how it's acting on your computer, if it's not reacting correctly, or unless it's like a bug, but if the software itself is kind of laggy or you're having pixelation issues or things like that, that has to do, that's not going to likely affect anybody else. It could, it, there are different things that could impact it, okay? So typically the first thing that I tell people if they're trying to troubleshoot a software issue is reinstall the software or go up, update, or I don't even wanna say downgrade because downgrade is the wrong word, but go to a legacy version, okay? So that, those are the first things that I suggest to people. Um, typically, updates, like I said previously, are to fix bugs and release new features, okay? When a new machine comes out, for example, when the Silhouette Cameo Pro comes out, a new version, a new update is going to have to come out because the current version of Silhouette Studio is not supporting a machine that's not currently out. However, when a new machine comes out, those people who have that new machine and anybody else who doesn't even have that machine can update to that version of the software. That version of the software will continue to support older, older machines as well. So let's say you get a Cameo Pro when it comes out, hopefully later this year, it's supposed to be in November. That's what they told me at the beginning of September, crossing my fingers. That version of the software will, will support the Pro and the Plus and the 4 and the 3 and the 2 and the 1 and the Curio and the, all the portraits, okay? So it's not, it will continue to support all of them, okay? However, the version of the software that's out right now does not support any future machines because they're not here. They're not available, right? Okay. Sheesh. Now... If you um, are interested in purchasing an upgrade to get some of those features, or you're wondering what those features are, um, there I threw some links up top there so you can do that. Um, and uh, the, usually the cheapest place to buy the update upgrades, excuse me, is Swing Design. So I think the um, business edition right now it looks like it's about $63, $62.99. It's instant. You get it by email. If you're wondering like why I didn't get it, make sure you check your junk mail. Um, sometimes they are filtered are filtered there. Okay. Um, the business edition plus, I don't know off the top of my head what the price of that. I think it's like $45. And then the stand um, designer edition, which allows you to open SVGs, that one I think is about $27.99. Okay, so the big features in each one, it kind of depends what you're looking for. Designer Edition allows you to open SVGs along with a bunch of other features, which I have. I'll put the link up the, with the chart. Um, Designer Edition Plus, the big thing is it allows you to open embroidery files. So if you are cutting um, applique, you can pull those in and you can use the tack down stitch as your cut line. Business Edition allows you to run multiple machines at the same time, simultaneously. You can have different machines running, cutting um, at the same time. They can be cutting the same thing. They can be cutting different things, different materials, different designs, whatever. 
Um, it can also allow you to export. This is a big thing. It will allow you to export as an SVG, a PNG, and a JPEG, which is huge. Um, business edition, despite its name, you do not have to have a small business to use it. You do not have to be selling anything to use it. It does not give you any commercial rights or anything like that. It literally is called that because some of the features um, would be things that small business owners will probably, um, you know, find useful. Okay. All right. So with all that said, hopefully that clears up a couple of the big questions that we have. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? Um, beta. Oh, there's always, not always, because I actually don't think there's one right now. Um, beta versions of the software are versions of the software that are currently still being tested. They go to um, a closed beta, which beta users, including myself, um, test prior to what's then called open beta. Open beta means anybody can download them, but just be aware that they're still in that testing period um, and you may still find bugs. Sometimes beta versions don't even make it to um, the, you know, become the current version. Um, so just be aware of that, but you can get new features that way earlier than if you were to wait. I have a sun shining in my eye here. Um, then if you were to wait for when it becomes the um, current version. Is anyone else having, someone's asking, is anyone else having issues with Bluetooth? Oh, that's the other thing I should point out. Um, if you're not able to hear me, make sure you turn the sound on on the video so you can hear. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, sometimes there are firmware updates that are released. This is specific to Cameo 4, okay? In the Cameo 4 and also the Portrait 3, um, the firmware updates are now within the software. So, for example, I just updated my soft, my Silhouette Studio software in order to get a firmware update for my Cameo 4 because there's a new feature that um, that software version literally was just released for the firmware update. The feature in the software is the um, semi-auto loading mat. Did you guys see that mat sensor? I just did a blog post on that as well, which will allow you to press the load button. It gives you like a three to five second delay and then you can load, okay? But that's another type of thing that like an update, um, a software update would push for you, okay? All right, you guys, hopefully that answers a bunch of your questions. And if not, leave them in the comments and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. See ya.